Native People's Magazine booth at Indian Market with the editor Daniel Gibson. What are the highlights for you for Indian Market? Well, yesterday was the best of show um, unveiling. That's always a really exciting time because you get to see all the work in one spot together. The best work maybe that Indian Country can produce. So we're here at the Wars Luncheon and uh, checking out some of the artwork. Like this piece right here is my friend David Boxley's from Metlaketla. He's Simpsian and he's a wood carver. He does traditional work on cedar, carves totem poles, masks, things like that. As you see here, we have some cedar woven hats that are um, traditionally made and they're Klingit, which is actually my tribe. So it's pretty cool to see some artwork from Alaska down here. And this is actually made by a friend of mine, Gianna Willard and her artwork is great, some great cedar hats. This is some amazing quilt work. Traditionally made porcupine quills, they have to boil it, chew it up, dye it, and uh, there's very few people that can do this kind of work. And here we have some beadwork that's amazing as well. This is intricate beadwork, very small beads, probably size 15 or something, I don't know. I don't know my beadwork that well. And here we have the best in show prize winning piece by Jamie Okuma. Jamie's won twice before. This is her third time that she's won. For myself, I don't think I truly can be a contemporary native without a very, very strong traditional background. And for me, it's, oh, it's so exciting that for me to win Best in Show with one of my most traditional pieces that I've ever done is just incredible. Um, and again, thank you all for coming. Oh, I got an awesome thing right there. It's a great resource for us to go out and see what's happening in an Indian country without having to hit the road. Because it all comes here and we pick up story ideas, we meet new artists, um, we have ideas in mind that we connect with particular artists, like say we want to do a piece on ledger art, well then I'm looking out for ledger artists and getting the names down. It's actually um, Terrence Gardapete from Montana, Blackfeet. Anything that just jumps out at you in particular? Yeah, I mean there was a, some great work at the best of show yesterday. Um, I really like Kevin Poirier's buffalo horn belt that he made. I love Todd Bordeaux's uh, story stick. Um, we picked the piece out for the first time to give the Native People's Creativity Award. Our first recipient of this award is Alan Aragon, which went to this kid named Alan Aragon that makes concho belts out of clay that he inscribes and hand colors and then sets in silver. Um, beautiful piece, really innovative work. It's the oldest and the largest uh, Indian market in the country now. It's kind of the standard by which all the others are measured, and it's also kind of the, sets the standard and the bar for quality of artwork. Um, it's a great uh, meeting ground of minds and creativity where the artists come together and exchange ideas and inspire one another. So it's really huge in the Indian art world. And you also have the gallery scene, which operates kind of outside of the market itself. The best artists from here move on to that scene. So it's like a breeding ground.